Hello friends, welcome back to Sabir CAD. Hope all are doing fine. In this video, I am going to demonstrate an interesting topic. All of us are aware that blocks are effectively used in a CAD drawing to deal with repeatability. In AutoCAD, we can further extend the capability of these blocks by adding parameters and actions, thereby you can make it a dynamic block. In BricsCAD, we have parametric blocks which are smart blocks. So it will be an interesting comparison, isn't it? Please watch the entire video without skipping because towards the end, I have a question for you. So let's get started. Let's start by creating a dynamic block of a door using AutoCAD software. These three drawings are made up of polylines and arcs and represents three states of a door open state, half open state and closed state. Next I will create a block reference of all these drawings. So I will click on insert tab, create block and I will give a block name as door dynamic door underscore dyn then I'll choose this particular point as the insertion point and select all these objects and give enter and I'll click on OK. Now you can see that you have created a block of all these drawings. Next I'll double click on this block and you will get the edit block definition dialog or else you can give B edit command using the keyboard and I'll click on OK. Now I am in the block editor mode. You can see the block authoring palette over here in which we have parameters and action tabs. First of all, I will assign an alignment parameter on this door. So I will click on alignment. Now I am asked to specify the base point as well as the alignment direction. I will pick a point over here to specify the direction and you can see an alignment grip here. Similarly, I'll assign alignment parameter to the rest of the drawings. I'll pick the base point here and I'll pick a point right on top to specify the direction. I'll repeat the same here. Next, I'll define flip parameter in the horizontal as well as in the vertical direction. I'll click on flip. Now I'm asked to specify the base point of reflection line. I'll pick a point over here. Now this is the second end point of reflection line. I'll keep the flip label over here. Next I'll click on actions. Now you can see an exclamation mark here because I haven't assigned the flip action. So I'll click on the actions tab, click on flip. Now I'm asked to select the parameter. This is the parameter. Now I'm asked to select the objects. I'll select the entire objects using a crossing window and I'll give an enter. Now the exclamation mark disappears. Next I'll specify the flip along the vertical direction. So I'll click on parameters, flip parameter. I'll define the base point of reflection line by shift right clicking and I'll select mid between two points option from the O snap menu and I'll pick this end point as the first base point of reflection line and this end point as a second base point of reflection line and this is the vertical axis. Now I'm asked to specify the end point of reflection line. I'll pick a point over here and I'll keep the flip state label over here. Now I'll click on actions, flip action. I'll select this parameter. I'll select the entire set of objects using crossing window and I'll give an enter. Using the move command, I'll move this flip grip slightly rightward so that it won't overlap with the alignment grip. Now I'll define the flip states in the horizontal and vertical directions for the half open drawing of the door using the same procedure. Now it's done on the half open door using the same steps. I will not give flip parameter on the closed state of the door because even if you flip it about the horizontal or vertical axis, it won't make any difference since this is a rectangle. Next I'll click on the test block option in the block editor to test this block. Now I'll click on this door. You can see the flip grips here. Now when I click on the flip grip, I can flip it about the vertical axis 
as well as about the horizontal axis. Similarly, I can flip the half open door about both axes. Now you have to insert this door to see the effect of alignment parameter. Now I'll close the test block interface. Next I'll define a third parameter which is visibility parameter. So I'll click on visibility in the parameters tab and I'll pick to define a visibility grip here. Now you can see an exclamation because we haven't defined the visibility states. So I'll click on visibility states option. Now you will see the visibility state zero as the default visibility state. I'll define three new states. So I'll click on the new button and I'll call my first state as open, which is the open state of the door and the second state as half open, which is a half open state and the third state as closed and I'll select the default state right click and I'll delete it because that's no longer required. Next I have to specify which all objects are visible and invisible in each state. Now when I click on this pop-up list you can see three states we have defined. I'll click on open and this is the make visible button and this is the make invisible button and we have all the objects visible on the screen in the open state, I have to make invisible the half open state of the door as well as the closed state of the door. So I'll click on make invisible and I'll select all the objects in the half open state, including the parameters and actions and give enter. It's made invisible. Now click on make invisible again and select the closed state of the door using a crossing window and give an enter. You can even see the invisible objects in a faded form. For that, you have to click on the visibility mode button. And these are the objects which are made invisible. I'll repeat the same steps for the half open state of the door. So I'll select half open state. The half open state is already visible. So we have to make invisible the open state of the door as well as the closed state of the door. We will again repeat the same steps for the closed state. So I'll activate the closed state. In the state, only the closed state of the door should be visible and the rest of the drawing should be invisible. So I'll click on make invisible and select all these drawings in one go and give an enter. Now they are made invisible. Next, using the move command, I'll align all these drawings on a single base point so that while you insert it, all the door states will be in the same position. So I'll click on the home tab and move command and select the open state. I'll choose this point as the base point and this point as a second point. Now I'll click on move again, select this object and this is the base point and this is the second point. Now all drawings are properly aligned on the same insertion point. Now let's test the visibility states. So I'll click on the block editor, test block. Click on this block, you have got the visibility grip. When I click on this grip, I can see all the three states. I'll click on half open. Now you can see only the half open door. Closed, the closed door is visible. Now I click on open to get the open door. That means the visibility parameter is working perfectly fine. Now I'll close the test block and I'll close the block editor. Save the changes to the block. Let this drawing represent the corner of a wall. I would like to insert the door block on this location as well as over here. I'll click on insert tab, insert and I'll click on the door dynamic block which we have created just now. And when I keep the cursor over here, you can see that the door is getting aligned on this wall, but I actually want to align the door over here. So you can keep the cursor over here and I'll pick this midpoint to locate it. I'll repeat insert. When I keep the cursor over here, you can see that the door is getting aligned on that wall because the alignment parameter is in action, but I actually want to align the door over here. So I'll keep the cursor over here and I'll pick a point at this midpoint. 
Now when I select the dynamic block of the door, you can see that all grips are functional. You can select individual blocks or I can select more than one blocks and press Ctrl 1 to get the properties palette and change the parameters in one go. For example, if I want to change the flip state from not flipped to flipped, just click on flipped. You can see that the flip state of both the doors got changed. I can also click on the visibility state and change the visibility to half open and you can see that the visibility of both the doors got changed to half open. Next, I have to clear off this wall portion using the trim command. This is how the walls will appear after trimming. Next, we will accomplish the same task using the concept of parametric blocks in BricsCAD. So let's switch over to BricsCAD. In BricsCAD, I have created the drawing of a door, but I haven't created three separate drawings to indicate the different states of a door. But instead, I have shown the different positions of the door shutter in a single drawing. This is the open state and this inclined position indicates the half open state and this is the closed state. Then I have also used two arcs to indicate the door swing direction and these lines indicate the wall thickness. Now I will block this drawing using the block command. I will click on insert tab, create block. Now I have got the block definition dialog box. I will give a block name as door parametric. I will click on pick point and choose this endpoint as the insertion point. Then select entities. I will select all these entities and give enter. Now this is converted as a block. Now I will double click on this block to open the create or edit block definition interface. You will get the same interface using the bedit command. Next, I'll click on parametric tab, then parametric blocks. Over here, I have various parameters that can be specified on a parametric block. I'll click on flip lines. The start point of the flip line, I'll choose this midpoint and the end point as this midpoint. Now I'm asked to give a name for the flip line. I'll call it as horizontal and give enter. The flip lines will be shown with the green line. Now I'll click on flip line again. I'll define a vertical flip line. Now I'm asked to specify the start of line. I'll shift right click and click on snap to middle of two points. I'll pick this end point as the first point and this as a second point. Now I've got the midpoint of the line joining those two points. Now I'm asked to specify the end point. I'll pick a point right on top. Then I'll call this flip line as vertical. Give enter. Next, I'll define the alignment parameter. For that, I'll use the reference curves option in the parametric blocks. So I'll click on reference curves. Now I'm asked to select the reference curves. I'll select these two lines as well as these two lines, which are wall lines. And I'll give an enter. And if you want, you can select more reference curves. I don't want that. So I'll just click on accept. Now reference curves are shown in purple color. When you go to layer panel, BricsCAD places the flip lines and reference curves on individual layers having respective colors. If you want, you can turn off these layers at any point of time. Next, we will define the visibility parameter. For that, I'll click on parametric blocks, visibility states panel, and here you will get a fully revamped visibility states panel. Over here, we have a plus sign. Just click on that. And here you can define a visibility state. I'll call this state as door state. Now I'll click on add state and I'll call the first state as open. Click on add state again. Call the next state as half open. And click on add state again. And I'll call the next state as closed. Next I'll come back to open state. I'll click on the three vertical dots and make entities invisible option and I'll click on those entities which are to be made invisible. In the fully open state, this entity as well as this entity should be made invisible. Now I'll click on half open state, click on the vertical dots, make entities invisible and select this entity, this one as well as this one. Now I'll click on closed state, 
click on the three vertical dots make entities invisible in the closed state all these entities should be invisible only the door panel need to be shown now i have defined all the required visibility states before saving the block i'll change the default visibility to open so that when i insert this block it be inserted with the open state now i'll click on block editor and save changes to the block let this represent a wall line and we have horizontal vertical and inclined wall lines now i'll click on insert and insert block and here i have door parametric give okay when i take the cursor onto this wall you can see that it is getting automatically aligned and when you move the mouse downwards it is also getting flipped i want the door to be pointed outward in this location so give a click over here i want the door to be pointed inward so when i take the cursor here it will get aligned because the alignment parameter is in action now over here i want the door to be pointed outward so i'll keep the cursor over here and give a click now you can see that you have inserted three instances of this door block while inserting you can align it and flip it not only that in this case the automatic trimming has taken place now i'll go to layer panel and turn off the flip line and reference curve layers now let's test these blocks i'll select this block you can flip it using the properties panel so i'll click on properties and here you will see various parameters defined in this parametric block you can flip it in any desired direction vertical or horizontal flip can be performed you can control the door opening state now it is half open and closed and you can select more than one blocks at a time and you can change these parameters using the properties panel for example i want to make all these doors half open so click on door state and click on half open you can see that it's all half opened hence you can change the parameters defined in the parametric block for a single block as well as for a number of blocks at a time using the properties panel so this is how you create parametric blocks in bricscad now i have come back to autocad and i have selected these two doors which are in two visibility states this is half open and this is fully opened when i check the properties palette only the visibility state parameter is listed the flip states are not listed now i'll change the visibility state of this door to open and if i select these two dynamic blocks in the properties palette all the parameters which we have defined in the dynamic block is listed now in bricscad these two blocks are in two visibility states and let's check the properties panel you can see that all the parameters defined in the parametric block is listed that means we have more flexibility in editing multiple parametric blocks at a time now we have seen the procedure to create dynamic blocks using autocad and parametric blocks using bricscad Please let me know which procedure is more effective in terms of the time taken for the workflow. Please post your valuable thoughts at the comment section. Until we meet again with another informative video on CAD. Bye bye and take care. Thank you so much for your time.